Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here 250 gemstones exchange Just where I give you guys great content And in exchange, you guys leave a like, comment, or subscribe Hopefully all three of the above Don't be afraid to share my videos Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Also, check out my Spotify podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. They're going to fill these prisons. They are going to fill this prison. This is a story. It's a bittersweet uh a woman 40 years ago did lose her life, but they finally found the old man who did. He's old man now. He was a young man when he took her out. But you guys watch this video. I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Oh, look at this mess right here, y'all. Look at this mess. Oh, we got some stuff right here, boy. She was a beautiful person. 65-year-old man charged with the cold case murder of woman found naked in park. Story written by Colin Kambacher. Noelle Russo. Noelle Russo was only 37 when she was beaten and left for dead in a park in Northern California. More than 40 years later, the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department says they have finally solved the, the crime. In a press release, authorities said DNA evidence proved instrumental in the murder charges filed against Alfredo Carretero Jr. He is now 65 and he was arrested on Monday in Lakeport, roughly 75 miles from where Russo was found decades ago. Russo's family has been notified of the arrest and would appreciate privacy, according to the deputy Rob Dillon. On June 27, 1983, Sheriff, de Sheriff deputies were called to an unincorporated area of Ronert Park. That pronounced? Yeah, Ronert Park, a medium-sized planned city some of 50 miles north of San Francisco. There, they found the victim without clothes. Investigators had leads consisting of evidence, interviews, and persons of interest. But over time, the case went cold. The sheriff's office reopened the case in 2010. For the next 12 plus years, detectives began to use DNA analysis technology, submitting several pieces of evidence to the Santa Clara County Crime Lab and Serological Research Institute. Are they, are they serious? All these fancy words, all of these fancy words, they serious. They are dead serious. Caratero was one of the original persons of interest in the case, the sheriff's office said. He was eventually positively identified as a suspect in Miss Russo's murder based on DNA and other evidence. He was 25 then. A woman whose mother was one of the victim's best friends recalled their time together in comments to San Francisco based ABC affiliate KGO. The woman's mother has since passed. They kind of like to bar hop a little bit and just like. Anybody in the area have a little bit of fun, and that's what they were doing the night she went missing. Dominique Espinoza told the TV station. They split up. She said, They split up, she said. Noel may have been talking to an ex boyfriend, but she didn't think it was him that she went off with. But somehow they got separated at night, and she couldn't get a hold of her the whole next day. And then they, of course, found her. So the one, so this has to be, so she was talking to her, oh, okay, she, so the friend, Dominique, thinks she was talking to her ex, but signs are pointing to uh, Caratero. The woman said Russo had been missing for 48 hours before her body was found. The man, the resulting discovery and the sadness it brought stuck with her mother for years, she said, enough so that her mother kept a journal and often wrote about her slain friend. Ooh, ooh. I think her eyes twinkled when she looked at me, Espinosa said. She was just a beautiful person. And that is one thing that shined through my mom's writing, that this was somebody she really cared about. And it just devastated her that she lost her. 
If you guys like to read the rest of this story, it's lawandcrime.com, and I'm going to meet you on the other side. Would y'all like to know my opinion? Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. That night when they went out, the friend, her mother said that they used to bar hop. Uh, Karen Terrell, however you say his name, Ken and Terrell, the guy that uh, deleted Noel Russo, the woman. That was her boyfriend. And I guess, so it seems to me like it was a love triangle. Those love triangles will get your ass hurt. Those love triangles will get your ass hurt. Put in the dirt. Because the, the mama said, uh, Dominique Espinosa, she said her mom said that there was a phone call and she believed it was her ex-boyfriend. She was out on a date with Ken and Taro, but she said she got a phone call from her ex. And I think that's when Ken and Taro flipped because he got all of his feelings. He's probably a beta male, sucked on his mama titties until he was about 25 and he didn't have no Kanigis, right? So, Kenatero, from in my opinion, he got super jealous of whoever, whoever man that was to her. Say, say if her ex boyfriend, Kenatero was jealous that her that Noel's ex boyfriend was calling, and I think Noel really was crazy about her ex. But I think she was in the middle of the two guys. She wanted to try something new. You know how girls do want to try something new, and. He and Kenatero, I think he's he's a, he's a, he's a creep. He's a psychopath, and he believed he owned her. He believed that he had sole control over her because they've been spending time together. You don't own nobody. I don't own that person. She don't own me. But we come to an agreement that we're gonna love and respect each other. We're gonna respect the relationship, and through thick and thin, we're gonna have each other's back. But I believe Kenatero deleted this woman because he was absolutely jealous absolutely jealous of her ex-boyfriend I believe when she was calling I believe when she got that phone call they were on a date she said that night they were bar hopping and then Noelle she's all on the phone yeah I'm on a date I'll call you later gosh why are you always calling me I just told you we're, we're over we're over and Canatero the old man he's old now the one they, uh, they had locked up he's over there looking I know this heifer ain't calling while we on a date They'll do that. Women will call. I had that happen plenty of times. Girls will call. But well, I knew she had a boyfriend, so I took her out anyway because she was all over your boy. She was all over your boy. He was calling the whole night, calling the whole night because he knew I was a North Side nigga out of Sacramento. Pot to clap some cheeks. I'm gonna. Mm, 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 mm. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? He was blowing up my date. It was a prom night. And he was blowing up her phone because he because she was a beautiful Latina. Big breasts, big ass. She's my best friend too. She was my best friend. I loved her. I loved her. She was my best friend. But at the time, I wasn't developed mentally for a serious relationship because uh I you know what? My low I had low self-esteem, right? I, I wasn't always a man you see today. I always had a high self-esteem. I don't know it was low self-esteem. I think as a part of me, I was just lost, but I blew it. We always blew it with the one we supposed to be. But long story short, she had a boyfriend and he knew I was a north side nigga. My daddy from Nanoya, my mama from Compton, right? And we moved up there to that mighty, mighty Sacramento. So he knew I was a north side nigga. And these are them north side niggas are players. Them north side niggas is flashy. And he's a north side nigga too. He was a north side nigga too. So he already know what time it was. We, you know, we're pretty boys. North Sacramento, we keep it pretty. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm on a date. I'm on a prom with her. She's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. He just kept... I know he was going to do his mind. This nigga, Michael, is going to pull her dress down, pull her bra down, and I get to see those magnificent melons. Oh, yeah. But he was jealous. Cantonero, the man that killed Noel Russo, he was jealous. That jealous rage has gotten a lot of people hurt. Not only did he hurt Noel Russo, he hurt himself because now he'll be an old, decrepit man fighting for his mouth, fighting for his behind for the rest of his life in prison. For the rest of his life in prison. Horrific. 
He went out here in the free world while this woman, she didn't even make it to 40. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. She didn't make it till she was 25. She was 25. Youngster. 25. It's a lose lose situation. You guys, please, we have to be in control of our emotions and get focused. But y'all flood my comments. I would love to know what y'all think about this story. 250. I'm gone.